The grind up to level 100 is always tedious, no matter what infamy you may be. However, there are a few quick tips that can really help the amount of XP you gain from each heist. Here are my 5 quick tips that will help you level up faster. First of all, use stealth bonuses to your advantage. You can speedrun jewelry store in under a minute using only an ECM jammer to get an easy 5% XP bonus for your next heist. Another option is framing frame, as this gives you a massive 25% XP bonus for your next heist if you manage to stealth all 3 days. Make sure that any stealth missions you complete to get a stealth bonus you do on normal difficulty because you want to try and complete them as quick as possible. Any heist you are planning to do, I would recommend you do at least the jewellery store heist to get an extra 5% XP bonus, as you can do it in under a minute and the more XP you get from each heist the better. If you are planning to do a heist that pays out a lot of XP such as Hoxton Breakout or Boiling Point, I would recommend doing Framing Frame to get the 25% bonus, because it affects the final XP you get massively and you can really get some extra levels from it. The second way is to pay attention to the heist bonuses. These are bonuses that you get for not playing a heist much, to encourage you to play them more. It also works in the opposite way, giving you an XP reduction to stop you from playing the same heist too much. Heists that give you a bonus have a yellow glow behind them when they're on the crime.net menu. A good way to make lots of XP on this is to purposely avoid playing certain heists for a long time until it reaches 15% or higher. I'm not actually sure how high this boost can go, but above 15% doesn't take an insanely long time and it still gives you a pretty solid XP boost especially good paired with the stealth boost. Pay attention to the border glow of heists on crime.net so you can easily tell which heists you can get a bonus on. And also make sure you avoid heists with a red glow as this is the EXP reduction. The XP reductions aren't permanent though, they increase each time you play that heist while the reduction is still active. But once it's gone and resets, you can play it again without losing out on any XP. If you are going to play a heist with an XP boost, make sure you have at least a 5% stealth bonus to make as much XP as you can from it. The third way is to pick some heists that can give you a nice boost and can be done quickly. First of all, if you're at least Infamy 1 and are a low level, such as below 20, a good way to get started is to play Jewelry Store Normal to get at least one level. Take Hardware Expert Basic for the silent drilling, then buy the Ukrainian job on one down. Stealth this and you will get a nice start to your leveling in a short amount of time. Another thing you can do is go on 4 stores on Overkill, run into the 24-7 shop and open the ATM with an ECM jammer. This gives you enough money to trigger the escape option, so then you just go and sit in the corner and wait until you can leave. Four stalls also gives you a 5% stealth bonus, so you can earn a bit extra XP too if you repeat the same process multiple times. The final quick option is Diamond Store. Normally, this takes a long time on your own because of all the things to do, such as bagging loot, placing and fixing drills, and moving bags to the van. Well, with a Crow 4, you can stealth this quite quickly on one down, and it will also net you a nice amount of XP from it too, especially if you secure every bag all loot in the safes and cash from the ATM machines. It doesn't matter what heist you do or what difficulty, but make sure you secure all the bags you can. The only time this doesn't apply is when you're doing heists much level than you should compared to your level. Some people don't realise this, but getting more loot actually gets you more XP too, meaning the more bags you get, the more XP you get at the end. This is sometimes too risky due to some of the situations you can get in, like having a bag out in the open where you can easily be downed, but don't risk losing the game for it. But getting bags does help a lot, so try and get as many as you can. The Infamy skill tree contains an interesting variety of things to get, including masks, patterns, and permanent XP bonuses. First of all in the tree, you'll want to get the 4 masks, which allow you to use less skill points to get higher in a skill tree, because this is pretty fundamental to most builds. But after you have all 4 of these, you should probably go for the 10% more XP skills, instead of the 7.5% and a mask skills. Masks are cool, and you can make really interesting designs with them, but honestly, you should be putting your infamy points into getting more XP first, so you can make the climb back to level 100 more easily. Trust me, with a lot of these skills, it will make it much easier to get back to level 100, so you can get that mask you are after more quickly. And there you have it, there are 5 quick tips on how to level up faster. They won't make a huge impact to your leveling, but every extra bit of XP helps. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.